Yo, what's going on guys? It's Brian or Gamerfever here and welcome back to some more Madden 22 franchise where we are taking the Barons and we are on a 4-1 record. We lost massively to the Giants in week one and we've been on a terror of revenge ever since just coming off a 31-20 win over the Titans. Now, our opponent here is no slouch. The Dallas Cowboys are usually pretty good in this game for some reason. Um... And yeah, so we're going to have them, um, but we're also going to have the week seven bye week in this video at the end. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer episode. So stick around for that. Um, we've got a few things going here. We have a prospect highlight. So someone apparently has stood out. Take a deeper look at Ry Kyle Holiday. Kyle? Yeah. It's been standing out in terms of football IQ. Okay. So we need to go check out this right end. He could potentially be uh, pretty good. Week 7 will also have some more scouting stuff. And I'm sorry for the on. It is, it is like 5 a.m. But I felt like playing some Madden. So that's what we're doing. Right end. Uh, Kyle Holiday is around 2 to 3 projection. He hasn't really moved up and down the board. Um, he's 22 years old, 6'5", 258, okay. Uh, he's always looking for the massive hit. He loves to use a spin as a counter move. Relies on a stiff arm over move. Use speed to power to bull rush blockers. Motor's always running. Typically avoids flags. Often looks to rip the ball. It sounds like he has all the right scouting notes. Ooh. Change of direction's not good at all. But he's great to elite most of his other stats. His strength is only decent to solid. But... Man, if he doesn't look good in all the other stats. Skills. Do we know anything? Injury prone. Ah, that's that's upsetting. Impact block is a D. I don't know why we know that about him. He could be interesting. We'll 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 favor him. It could be interesting. We don't really know too much going on some of these other guys. This guy looks pretty good. Pretty good as well, but he's projected to go pretty high. A tackle, B play rec. Yeah, he should be pretty good, assuming injuries. All right. Got a lot of quarterbacks going up pretty high in this one. We also have a tandem breakout for our offense. Okay. We didn't complete the goal, if I remember correctly, last week. But let's see. As soon as it wants to. Uh, man, Jonathan Ward took our game over. I'll praise you, but you're, it, it's not happening, man. Now, this this is good because it means Jonathan Ward keeps getting XP for inspiring his teammate to do better. So I do like that. Especially since he's a rookie. He's getting a lot of free XP. So that's pretty sick. Um, Dak Prescott. Ooh. Full report. What do they got? Um... Uh, points per game, they're fifth. Total yards, they're second. They're number one in the league in average passing yards. Ooh, that's not good. Now, it says to defend the deep pass. They don't go deep very often. I'm actually going to go defend the medium pass. Uh, Quiddy Pay. Ah, oh, that's right. Quiddy Pay. Um, now, defensively, they are very bad. This is a defense we can look to exploit. It wants us to blitz counter. We got Malik Cooker. I think I'm going to throw it medium and my goal is to stop their medium pass. Whichever one of us can have successful short or to medium throw at in this game. 350 yards. We're not getting that, but we'll keep it. Get some XP in. Whew. Vance. I'm assuming none of our dudes got injured. We should have some upgrades. Now, maybe Jonathan Ward got enough? Nah, dang it. Okay, not quite. He could use some blocking skills, if I'm being honest. I think I'm going to give him blocky. Blocky? No, blocking. To at least get him in the 60s on block. It's not going to help. Amazing. He's just not ever going to be a good blocker. Uh, unfortunately, but he's pretty decent for what we need him to be right now, so that's okay. We'll keep him around. 
Well, we don't really have another option, but... Alright. Oh, let's get in here. Let's get in on this Dallas Cowboy game. The 3-2 and two Cowboys. The 4-1 and one Barons. Definitely a turnaround year so far. It was looking really disappointing week one. People thought we were the same old Texans. Didn't matter what our name was. Um, but no, we are the Brooklyn Barons. Since we that got that big loss to the Giants, we have moved up, stepped up, and we're four and one. Can we keep the winning streak alive? Let's see. And we return to start the game. Let's go. John Ross has always oh that was lag. John Ross has already got one on the year, but he could not get this one past the place. Oh, did he get injured? He's not on the field. He did. Oh, that's upsetting. The first play, and we're already dealing with injury. Injuries have rocked our team. That was a bad. It was a bad choice, Bruce Sternum. Dang. Is that John Ross out for this game? Because if so, that's a huge blow. Yep, that's out for this game. Oh, man. Alright, so we need some of these other guys to step up. Uh, we have a few good options. There you go, Higgins. He did get inspired to do it. Good job, Jordan. The tight end getting some playing catch. Playing time. Playing catches. It's an RPO. Tony Pollard is back. Ah. Uh, I was holding the sprint button down a little too antsy. Hmm. I might have had a few deep, but we just we needed the first there. Good run, good run, Pollard. Okay, Collins? It'll depend on what that safety does. Uh, I don't think... Well, we'll just check it down. Check it down to the tight end, take what's there. We might have had, we might have had him, but that safety was covering, shading, shading out that back zone. I don't know if that's the right word to use there, but... He was just there. He was he was in the way. Higgins. Oh. Okay, Higgins fighting for those extra yardage, almost getting into that end zone. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. I'm actually going to have you come in. Looking to throw. Oh, I couldn't get it away. As he releases it and that'll fall incomplete. Chance is good. He's going to be a very busy guy. God dang it. This opening drive and they were looking his way for a third. Defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Again, he'll drop. Oh, no, that was just a poor decision. I was trying to get Higgins that ball. I didn't even look, I should have looked elsewhere. Ah, oh, man. Oh, how do we not get easy? Really not get Zeke there. Second and eight. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you gotta find a way. Oh, I don't know why he cut. He had a touchdown. I don't know why he cut. You give yourself your best chance to win. Ah, no safety. They could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Oh, Dak. Did he get it? No. Okay. I don't know who my... Bronson is my return guy when Ross is injured. Interesting. That was dangerous. I shouldn't have done that. I should have fair catch. Oh. Or just making all kinds of errors. All kinds of errors that we can't afford, guys. All kinds of errors. Is Ward going to beat? Uh, I mean, he stood. Ooh. That was dangerous. 
couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Higgins going out. I got Ward Collins coming in. Tight ends going out. Pollard. To throw again. Walsh. Got his man complete over the middle. Ward's been playing really well uh, for a rookie. He's inspired Higgins, a vet well, not maybe not a veteran, but a player who's been here a few years more than him to uh, play better. So, I mean, there's that. Collins, the one-year player, he was a rookie last year. Didn't use him, so he's still, still young, though. Oh, stay in bounds. That's a great catch, but stay in bounds. The throw took him a little too far. Second down. I think I want to run this ball. Yeah. Ah, uh, he just he shed the block. And there goes T. Higgins. Our receiving core is dropping like flies. What do I even have? Who do I even have uh, left if two wide receivers are out? We're in trouble. Mm. Okay. He gets attended to. We'll step aside. To throw on third down. Oh, that. Another pick. Oh, that's frustrating. See, that's just that's the downside of a 68 overall wide receiver. He should have cut in a lot quicker, and he got he just he didn't. Why am I getting magnetized? What the fuck? Don't magnetize me. Broken ribs. Higgins is gone. Oh. Oh, that hurts. We're gonna have to pick up another wide receiver. We keep having to make like these free agent signings or these pickups here. Ooh, Elliot made it through there. It's gonna give credit to people. Like he's dancing, but he didn't make the tackle. People, I don't, I don't know if you're the one dancing there. Dang. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed oh. it all right and lost Is damage. that holding at the end of that play? <laughs> oh. Really? We're going to have to run it a little more, I think, because our wide receiver core has been hurt a lot. Oh, can't even run it. God dang it. God dang it. Oh. There was a few up for grab. This has not been a great game. Uh, now, this play, Dagger, Ross usually burns him, but Ward is not Ross. He did well to get open, though. Ooh. Did he just torch him? Oh, he did, but... Oh, man. I mean, he drew the flag, so we're at least, we're at least moving, but... Oh, man, that might have been a touchdown. Oh, I don't know if he has the speed to go that bad, but man. Man, man, man. Good block. Nope. Tried to cut back. Uh, Tony Pollard has been... He had some initial success, and then we've been shut out since, so... Oh, good catch. 
It's gonna be two minute warnings. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless. Oh man. I can't believe the defense that's being played right now. Usually it's like someone's broken the game open. And on third down, the Cowboys bring an extra defensive back. From the gun, Shit. Walsh. Oh, that that those both of those corners dropping back into that zone really threw me, and I couldn't get it away. Mm, do I just take my points? Oh, that's fresh. If I hadn't been sacked, that might have been a go for it situation, but it was fourth and seven. Oh, we're, we're missing two of our main wide receivers. Our literally starting two wide receivers are all injured, although Ward realistically is our main guy, but John Ross and Higgins are our go-tos. Oh, man, that's frustrating. Injury's really hamstringing us here. Now, do we know... What did it say he had? Broken ribs. That's got to be a multi-week injury. Yeah, we're going to have to pick up a backup wide receiver. At least sign a veteran to the roster. Or maybe go out and trade for one. Oh, Bronson, what are you doing? Oh, Bronson, man. Get the round. Get 10 rounds. Good tackle, good tackle. Way to come back to the ball. They're really... Man, they're moving. Mm. Oh, at least he came back this time, but you got to get ahead of that. That's where we're really missing Marshawn Lattimore. Oh, Omaha. Oh, peoples! Dang it, that could have been a great pick six there for momentum. Oh, I didn't expect it to be a streak. Mm. Do they call the timeout? Shit. Oh, shit. Field goal, please. Is this a handoff to Zeke, or is this... Ooh. Field goal. Okay. Take your field goal. Oh. Oh, both defenses playing solid right now. Oh, Hobbs is my kick returner. That's weird. He's got good excel, but he's got slow speed to initiate. Yeah. So 3-3 going into half. We know how crazy the second half can be in some of our games. With Broncos game, we went in 20-20. Ended up 48-20, I'm pretty sure. So, you never know. Low scoring. I can't believe the defense is holding up. I, but, again, our starting two wide receivers are injured and our defense is just good. Ooh. Oh. I, I thought that was a block. I was, hmm. Did I get blocked by him and he caught the ball too? It's gonna be Jones. It's a run. Ah. Oh. Dang it. Okay. 
Oh, uh, okay. I was on him. I was on the tight end in case it was a pass where they just do a quick out. Those usually get us because the safety so far back can't stop it. But it was just a good run. Just a good run. Good tackle, Davis. They're starting to get it going on the ground with Zeke a little bit. We gotta watch this. This could be a problem. Ooh. I thought that was gonna be pass interference, but it was a good play. And he sacked. There you go. Defensive tackle, Ioannidis finally getting in there. We're going to franchise tag him probably, so that's going to cost us some money. But Yo, guys, can you block? No? Okay. Sorry, Bronson. King can't block, apparently. Oh, that didn't work. Pollard, I guess. We need to get the run game established. With our wide receivers out, we need to be able to run the ball. Which, uh, it's not. It's just not what we normally do. Let's, do I like this? Maybe. Oh, I kind of... Oh, what a good route. It was a good route. I, I might have liked to actually have run that, because that, that area was a wide open zone there. Man. Boom. It's not... Not a lot of yards in average right now. But we lost our big wide receiver blockers. Doesn't explain why they're getting in the middle, though. Man. Just a tough team to run on and a bad time to lose our wide receivers. Oh. Oh. Can we, can we field goal from here? What's the field goal? 62 for Joey Sly. Dead against him. Come on, Joey! I don't know if he's going to make it, though. Oh! Nailed it! 62! Oh! I wasn't sure if he could make that or not. Um... Seven mile out in our win dead against him too. Fucking booted it. Whew. Dead center though. I mean that helps that we're dead center lined up, but No. Ah, Zeke. He's starting to get a little he's starting to starting to get a little bit on us. This offense has a lot of dudes. Oh, there's Reed. There you go, Justin Reed. Have yourself an interception. <laughs> what a low scoring game. Oh, Paul. Pollard tripped. Man, since he's gotten it, since he was injured, he's had a lot of trouble. Granted, it's only this game. It might just be the defense, but... Good run. We're just gonna... Just right up the middle, third and two. Right up the middle. Bounced it outside a little bit there, but good hard running got him. He's over three yards of carry now. At least. 
best afternoon on the ground. Far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hadn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we okay. want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. Now they'll switch it up here. And look to Ooh, I don't know about the jump, but sure. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Whew. All right. We're on the 45. We did technically kick a field goal from this location earlier. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. You kidding me? Well, we know he can make it. <laughs> and we don't have the win. Ooh. <laughs> this is this is bad there's just no offense this game a touchdown here could win the game for dallas joey slides this game's mvp to be honest And we have the wind in the fourth quarter, so that's good to remember. We might be able to make an extra long field goal. Oh. Come on, middle of the field. I thought you had that. What are you doing? I'm in this area. They put themselves in a great position. Good tackle. Because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, well, guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. Shit. That is caught by Lamb. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A good looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Here's Prescott. And that's Elliott complete. And yeah, they're able to get this one. That brings us to two minute warning. If they score a touchdown now after not being able to do it all game, man. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football. Oh, man. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. No gain on the screen there at second down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. You no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> ah! Can we block the extra point, please? The first touchdown of this game on either side. Oh. Oh, that's frustrating. Nah, we're, we're not returning that. And not with a cornerback. Down on the scoreboard, a minute 37 remaining. Escaping the pressure right. Pass Ooh. And he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rain in as well. And that would appear to be a face mask. Defense. Ooh, okay. You're leading in the fourth quarter. That's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. He's back to throw. Flushed out right. Oh. Yeah, that'll be knocked away. That's maybe a touch this pass. Incomplete. This secondary is a unit. They've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a new name is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Really? Jeez, they're just marching me down the field. So take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play 
that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march up and Interesting. against your squad. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Pollard again. Oh, my Lord. He stopped immediately there. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. He oh, did he get that? Oh my god, did he get that? Did we get a little crazy? I think we get a little crazy. Oh, there we go. That was risky. We could have just taken our points. Got him. And they take the lead here by two, 12-10. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And we talk so much about the turnover. Oh, the wins and who holy wins. shit. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all. And they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every. That was some game, stressful gameplay. That Jolie Sly field goal king. Let's go. Gave it back to the offense. Dismissed. I don't answer those. Leave me alone. You know it's wrong, Madden. Vance. 12 to 10. Jeez, man. Yeah, we definitely didn't get the tandem breakout. He got injured. He's probably injured for a while. Come on, black screen of death. Don't do this to me. There we go. Yeah, you're ready. You failed. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. New injury. How long is he gone? How long did we lose our wide receiver for? Four weeks. Great. We do get our safety back, though. And we're into week seven, which is our bye week. So we're going to go ahead and see who needs to negotiate. We're going to go ahead and see what we can do. Um, ooh, a couple decent ones. Now, I'm willing to give you a three-year contract. Uh, two mil, about that. Yeah, he's in. He, he's played really well for a 73 overall. Titus Howard... We'll lock you down for two years so we have time to replace you. He's not that expensive. It's not even that bad. We won't re-sign probably any of these guys. You may be... Uh... Yeah, maybe... Probably won't re-sign any of those guys. Um, How do we want to handle the bye week? Uh, David DeCastro is coming to us. Uh, We're going to let you guys relax. We need some... You know, we need we need people to like, yeah, we need some injury boosts. Like we need people to stop getting hurt, man. Like Jesus. Like just stop getting hurt. Um week seven, we should be able to uh what is it, week seven? It's more progress. Wait, more progress? Oh, we don't select our national until week eight. Okay. let's see and then before we end this video let's see if we can't maybe 
maybe pick up a decent wide receiver who can step in when we need to. We got John Brown, Antonio Brown. Interesting. T.Y. Hilton's here. He's not bad. Golden Tate. Tyrell Williams is an interesting one. He's 6'4", 90 speed, 92 excel. It's pretty decent. Um, Willie Sneed's here. B.D. Brassbrook. Shad Perriman. He's only 28. He's 93 speed. Richie. Richie James Jr. is an interesting one. He's only 26. He's 91 speed, 93 excel. James Washington. Hmm. Marquise Goodwin is here. You know what? I'm down to pick him up. We'll sign him to a contract. He'll uh, replace... You know, it's a little more speed in place of uh, Higgins, but it's not bad. Um, and make sure it didn't rearrange our roster how it would normally be. It did. John Ross should not be our starter. Um, yes. All right, that'll work. <sighs> and we advance. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like this episode, leave a like, comment down below, and, of course, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys all next time. Later, guys.